Hi, this is Seth David for the Sleeter Group, bringing to you another special screencast. We're going to uh, respond to a comment that we got on this post here, how to set up your bills and or accounts payable in bill.com. So we're going to take a look at the, uh, the comment that was raised because it's a very fair question and I want to give it as fair a response as I can possibly give it. So Wade writes in and says, nice video, but at this point I'm mystified as to how the process can be described as automation when someone still has to do data entry on each received item. So leader obviously sees something here I don't yet. Can you provide me more explanation as to why this is worth another XX dollars over and above QuickBooks? Thanks. So the answer is of course. I'm going to give you the best explanation I possibly can. We're going to go back to screen sharing so I can also demonstrate what I'm talking about. So like I said, it's a fair question because the bottom line is whatever bill.com costs, and I avoid putting pricing in videos for the simple reason that pricing can change and the video generally can't uh, once it's been produced. So, and I've learned that the hard way, frankly, a couple of times. So that's why I'm not going to mention their pricing in this video. But obviously you can go to their site at bill.com and they have it right there. Now, as far as what, it, what does it cost, I, everything in business, of course, we're all accountants here uh, in the Sleater Group, I think for the most part, if not entirely. So we obviously understand the basic common sense piece of this. If I'm spending X number of dollars a month on a product like this, then hopefully I'm getting back at least that much in value, whether it's in the form of the time I freed up because of what I can then go do. So for example, let's just say for argument's sake that bill.com cost me $50 a month, but I bill my time out at, let's say, $185 an hour. So as long as bill.com frees up at least one hour of extra time for me, then it pays for itself, obviously. That's the dollars and cents of this. Other than that, there's things like convenience and whatnot. So to answer the question, especially on the payable side, I think the key, as with any tool, and that's what bill.com is, it's a tool, it's in making it work for you. You know, if I don't know how to use the hammer when I swing it, I'm likely going to cause more damage and more pain than, than, uh, than help myself. So the key is here, and I've got it right here on Evernote. Um, to receive payments, we have a special uh, URL that we can send clients to so they can pay our invoices. When it comes to the payable side, we have a specialized email address at bill.com. So what happens then is, and, and this, is, this is what I mean when I say making bill.com work for you, I think the key here is that you need to make sure, or, or, or will want to make sure, I should say, I don't want to say need to, I don't want to tell you what you need to do, but you, what I'm going to start doing now that I, because I'm new to bill.com myself, but what I'm going to start doing is, for example, a lot of our uh, vendors uh, have us on paperless billing, especially look at your big utilities. These are the ones that usually you think, oh, I can't get them to cooperate with me, but you don't have to. Most of them have a paperless billing option, and once you've chosen that, they need you to provide them with an email address. Well, boom, there you go. You give them the bill.com email address, so from now on, they email your bills to your bill.com email address, and it's going to come right into your inbox. And I think, yes, it's true, there is some data entry involved. I don't get to eliminate all data entry completely. But I think if you start playing around with this, what you'll find is that the data entry, the way it's laid out in bill.com is much easier and much more convenient. First of all, and let's, well, let's just take a look. Let me show you, let me not talk to you about it. So I've got a, an email prepared here with a, an invoice attached. I'm gonna send it to my bill.com account. I think I did this in the original video, but I'll do it again. So uh, sit, bear with me one second here while I forward an email over to bill.com. And by the way, here's my bill.com inbox. So just so you know, there's no tricks up my sleeve, it's empty. And by the way, here's where they show me what the special email address is for this purpose, in case you're wondering where to go to find it. So uh, stay tuned, bear with me, I'm gonna forward the email now. So this is what happens when I forward the bill, and, and you know this is gonna be subjective, I think. Some people are gonna agree with me, some people are gonna disagree with me, and that's okay. But uh, you know, imagine now that all your bills are coming in this way. They're coming into your bill.com inbox. First of all, I can access this from anywhere. So even though I'm using a desktop version of QuickBooks, my bill.com account is everywhere. So I can do all my work in here, and then just sync up with QuickBooks using the Sync app. And the Sync is very much seamless from what I've seen so far. And, and so let's go and say, uh, let's look at what the data entry looks like again. And, and I'm sorry, I keep saying again, I, I may not have demonstrated this, but I, I thought I did. I probably should have watched the video back before I, re I recorded this one. But in any case, if I'm revisiting it, I'm revisiting it, no big deal. But to me, right off the bat, right here, looking at this screen, this to me is a lot easier to work with than grabbing one of these and trying to fumble around and see where's the information I need so I can enter it. Plus, even though QuickBooks gives you nice pretty forms, 
I think from a functionality standpoint, this is much easier. So let's see, this is a new vendor, and I'm using this as an example. You can see this is my invoice for QCube, which I recently bought. I won a sort of a, comp a social media contest of sorts, and uh, Chuck was very kind and gave me a 50% discount off of QCube, which is another product I have to do some videos on. So, so I, I don't have him in here as a vendor yet. So, and this is paid, incidentally. I just need to uh, use something as an example. So. Clarify payment address. It's right there. You see, it's right here on my screen. It's just very easy to reference everything this way, I think. So, and I only have to enter this information once, just like in QuickBooks. Um, and if it had already been entered into QuickBooks, then it would have come in on the sink, so I wouldn't have to do this at all. So this is Houston, Texas, and the state province. Oh, maybe if I paid attention. So we got Texas. Uh, 77042, there we go, primary email, I don't know that off the top of my head, it's not on here, I'm assuming it's not critically important, I don't have his tax ID, he's not a 1099 vendor, and I don't have an account number, so save, okay, now we're done, Now I put, and that part, again, you only do once, assuming you never had done it previously in QuickBooks, so 111557, to me this is very easy to go down the list, I don't care about the payment terms, I don't even care about the due date. I should put in a due date though, but uh, and and he's got no terms listed here. But again, I can scroll down and see if there's other information. So let's just say it's due on receipt. So I put it in there, seven ten. The amount, again, scrolling down to twelve fifty. Okay, and the account is going to be software. I think I've got software. Yes, I do. Okay, and then I can put a description in here. Put notes and then I can add approvers to the bill. So if I have a bigger company where I have people involved in the process, I can set that up. But to me, this took two seconds. Now, not that it takes that much longer in QuickBooks to do, but I think that this is easier. That's just my opinion. I think this is a little easier and faster. And the other thing is, I, once I put this in now, again, using my phone application, and they have a mobile app which works great. It's not an app that you download to your phone, but it's a mobile website that works just like an app. So once I've done this part, I'm done. I can walk away and tomorrow when I'm at the grocery store, I can say, you know what, I want to pay Chuck right now for his QQ product. And I can be literally walking in the grocery store and schedule the payment right from here on my phone. Or as I said, if there's other people in the approval process, you know, it moves down the line and the next person can grab it. So it's not that we're going to get to a point ever, I don't think, of complete, of absolute zero data entry. But we will substantially reduce the amount of time that we have to put in to these processes by using tools like this. For what it's worth, I think it cuts down on the time substantially. I think it's worth the price. I think it frees up enough of my time to make the price worthwhile because in that free time I can earn a lot more money than what I'm spending on bill.com. That's just my opinion. Uh, my suggestion though is don't even take my word for it. Do their free trial. Try it out for a month. See if you don't feel like it's freeing you up, if you don't feel like it's providing the convenience, you have to give it a fair shot. You have to actually use it. You know, you have to make sure that you start giving your email address for your vendors so that they start sending your bills into bill.com. I think this is a much easier way also to manage your bills that come in versus going through your emails and certainly compared with going through papers that you might have received. And I hope most of us have gotten away from that by now. The only paper bills I receive are ones who just don't offer any other way to do it. So that's my two cents for what it's worth. Uh, I hope that helps and I frankly I hope it convinces you to at least give it a try. If not, uh, you know, no harm, no foul, but uh, I, I'm trying it out myself now and I'm finding that I'm very glad that I am trying it out because when the free trial is up, I can pretty much guarantee you that I'm going to sign up and pay for it. Questions, comments, feedback, always welcome. Please post them and if you've got a question like this, then uh, you can possibly get a video reply. I love doing them. So uh, fire away and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you around here on the web.